Hello and welcome y'all. Today we're doing something really stupid on my channel. I don't do a whole lot of tech computer PC related stuff anymore because well tech PC gear for me really expensive, really hard to come by, and I just don't really have a whole lot of need for it anymore. There's still quite a large demand and supply is super low. So what I decided to do for fun, um this is my water cooling rig in my garage that I uh, have named Sub-Zero, as uh, you've seen in a previous video. Um, I run this thing 24-7, well, not 24-7, it uh, lives in the garage 24-7 uh, in Minnesota. Right now it's like 90 degrees out, it's super humid, super warm, absolutely disgusting, gross. So pardon me, because I'm probably sweating a lot, looking awful for you guys. But why this guy has Sub-Zero is because, well, like I said, lives in Minnesota 24-7 in the garage. Not a heated garage, the detached garage. And, uh, yeah. We've had this thing running out here in, I think, negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And, uh, it's just filled with regular old-fashioned, uh, automotive cooling. Granted, not Toyota stuff. This is for my actual cars. This is... Acura Blue Coolant. Sorry, a pony left. We'll probably refill this again before winter comes, but I wanted to kind of drain it, drain the loop, um, see how it looks after two years. I think this thing's been running for like two years out here now, so this will be kind of an interesting insight into how automotive coolant holds up in a really crudely, cheaply put together loop. Um, yeah, because it's just cheap stuff I bought on eBay, cheap pump. We'll get in closer and take a look at everything for you. But yeah, this is a really, really bottom of the barrel budget build. We're going to flush it out, see what it looks like, see how dirty it is, see how coolant, automotive coolant holds up in a squirrel is taunting my cat water cooling loop. Let's dig into it. The plate itself looks pretty damn mint. There's absolutely no leaks anywhere. Um, maybe a tiny bit of this on here. Uh, but that could just be spillage from when I was filling it or something like that too, over years ago. But yeah, I don't really see anything on the clamps. The radiator looks pretty darn mint. No visible leaks. Got my drain here. So we're gonna set this bitch up. We're gonna drain her out, see what it looks like. But first, a message from our sponsors. This video is not sponsored by Truly. This is just truly my own purchase and beverage of choice on this hot day. So as I said, I'm more than likely going to reuse this loop, this crappy build, and we're gonna just kind of drain her out. What we can. Oh crap! Spillage, don't worry, we got tons of automotive cleaning supplies in this garage here. Come on, the drain. There we go. Wow, this actually doesn't look nearly as bad as I would have thought. Looks pretty good. And it's dark. Can you see? It's dark. But this coolant is dark to begin with. It is pre-mixed coolant from the factory. Inside here, probably really hard to see, but especially with the camera focusing on this fucking sky. <laughs> but let's uh, dig in a little bit further. Let's dump some... Uh... Actually, I really have no idea if this will even do anything really technically, because I don't think... <sighs> I don't know if, oops, this stuff even, if coolant reacts to distilled water at all. Oh God. Oh, I gotta turn the power breaker on. All right, ready guys? Send it. Oh. 
Oh God. Making a mess, y'all. Oh, that flushed really fast. Hopefully you guys can still see everything. Hopefully I wasn't too in the way. Yeah, this is nothing special <laughs> in here, obviously. The block looks freaking mint though. It's a copper block. I have no idea what the makeup of this radiator is. Oh, it's nice and cold because that water has been sitting inside the refrigerator. Not the refrigerator, but the, well, the house, air conditioned, so really nice. It looks really good though. Looks pretty clean. Probably put a little bit more fluid in. Oops, making more of a mess. My bad. There it goes. Flushing all those bubbles. Water's probably not good to have your computer sitting in, right? It's not a good thing, right? I never said I was a genius. I never said that this isn't why you come to my channel. You don't come to my channel for like quality technical reviews. You come to my channel because I'm an idiot and I do stupid ass stuff. You guys can go hang out with Jay's Two Cents or Steve from Gamers Nexus if you want like real quality content. Here, you get loud ass pumps. You get automotive cool water loops. Is it like, is it a lot more water? So the pumps aren't level. Hold on, let me do this. What I should do is put the plug back in real quick. Oh God, hold on. That is money. I don't even think I need to take this thing apart because seriously, wait, what's down here? Oh, maybe I should. Look at that. We got some stuff there. Maybe I'll have to take it apart in a different video. Huh, but here's our coolant. It looks fine. That's coolant and all the water. Okay. Yeah, we might have to take this apart here and see what that's all about. Give it a good thorough cleaning, see what the radiator looks like. All right, guys. Quick flush of that water cooling loop. Um, leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this. Uh, leave a like and a comment. If you think I need to do some more thorough cleaning on this thing, um, I think I'm gonna do it anyway, regardless of your guys' feedback. Because, well, you know, I'm gonna do it anyway, probably. <laughs> um, why not? It's here, might as well do it. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for watching, guys. Sorry for the noise. Uh, busy road, lots of trucks. So, yeah, two years water, water cooling in the garage on automotive coolant. Yes, works good, works damn good. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm gonna maybe plug away at this and uh, see what we can do. I mean, honestly, it looks like it's pretty gosh darn healthy. I think automotive coolant, regardless of its inherent flaws as far as using inside your house, probably not the best idea. Um, but in a garage situation like this, hell yeah, why not? Like if it's gonna be outside in the winter, it's not gonna freeze. It's gonna do just fine. Radio is going to do great. Like, it's going to hold up pretty darn well. Um, and do what you need to do outside. And performance wise, well, you're going to get some bonus points on your freaking benchmarks when you're using water cooling outside. All right. Anyway, I don't know. Not a very entertaining video. Probably not at all. Probably not useful at all. But that's what we do on my channel, right? Mm. Thanks so much for watching, guys, anyway. Take it easy, be well, have fun, whatever, computers. Yeah, like, comment, consider subscribing. Take it easy.